So from the traffic control plugins, in this video we're going to have a look on the request termination and request size limiting plugin. So to find out more, stick with me. What's up guys, Medium Guy here. I hope you've been enjoying my videos on the Kong API Gateway video series. And also I hope you've learned something new from the plugins that it provides in its free version. So in this video, we're going to have a look on the request size limiting and request termination plugins, each one having its own functionalities and their own uses. So without any delay, let's get down to work. So as always, I have my echo server running in a random port. And if you have cloned my repository, which I'll put the link down below, you'll have all the code and all the configuration for running these services. So switching to my terminal, if I hit LS in here, I see that I have my Docker compose file for Kong gateway and my config directory, which holds my configuration file for the declarative mode of the Kong gateway. So if I nano the config, the Kong YAML file, which I'll pass into the container of Kong API Gateway. As we can see in the previous videos, we configured and used many handy tools, many handy plugins of Kong API Gateway. And also we saw how to define consumers and allow or deny access for each of the consumers. So if I switch to the official documentations in the request termination plugin, as it is saying, this plugin terminates incoming requests with a specified status code and message. This allows to temporarily stop traffic on a service or a route or even block a consumer. So if I move down in the global plugin configuration section, if I switch to the declarative tab, I see the basic configuration to enable this plugin. So I'm just gonna copy the configuration and switch back to the configuration file in the plugins section i'll paste the configuration and as now i'll expect all the requests for all these services will be blocked with the status code of 403 and the message that i've passed for the message configuration for this plugin so if i save my file i'll hit Control x to exit nano and in here if i say docker compose up this will run my Kong gateway in Docker container. And if I go to the postman, I'll try to make a request. And if I hit send in here, I see that the status code for my request is 403. And the message is exactly the same that I passed in the configuration. So going back to the documentation, here we see all the parameters that are available for this plugin and as we saw we can pass the status code that the response will have and the message and also we have some other configuration which is body which is the raw response body to send this is mutually exclusive with the config.message field so either we pass the body or the message configuration to the plugin so i'll move back to the terminal in here i'll hit ctrl c to stop the docker compose and again i'll try to edit my config file and in here i'll comment the message configuration and i'll pass the body which for example will be a text in a json format so i'll pass a equal to b and also i'll try to set the content type to the application json and if i hit save i'll hit ctrl x and docker compose up again going back to the postman i'll hit send and in here i see that i get the response that i just passed in the configuration so if i check the headers section for the content type i get the application json that i passed in the configuration so as the last parameters of this plugin here we have the trigger configuration so when we do not set this configuration the plugin will will be always activated and when set to a string the plugin will activate exclusively on requests containing either a header or a query parameter that is named the string so for example if i want to block all the requests 
including a queue, which for example will be the search query for my APIs. I will pass the queue as the value for this configuration. So moving back to the terminal, I'll try to edit the file again. And in here I'll pass the trigger, I'll pass queue as the value, I'll save my file. Again, I'll say docker compose up. This time if I make a request, I'll see that I get the response from the upstream server. But if I have a queue string in my query parameters, for example, I'll search for the Kong. If I hit send, this time I see that the plugin is blocking my requests. So this is how this plugin works for blocking requests, maybe temporarily for some services for maybe routes or globally and after for example the maintenance has been done we can disable this plugin and all the requests will be proxied to the upstream servers so the next plugin that we'll be testing is the request size limiting which as it is saying will block incoming requests whose body is greater than a specific size in megabytes so as a note for security reasons we suggest enabling this plugin for any service you add to Kong gateway to prevent a DOS aka denial of service attack so as I said these are really cool tools to use and any web application in a production level will surely need these plugins to be enabled so if I move down to the section where I can enable this plugin globally I have the basic configuration I'll just copy the configuration I'll switch to the terminal I'll hit ctrl C again I'll try to edit my configuration file and in here the first thing that I'll do is disable the request termination plugin so I'll say enabled set to false so this won't be blocking my requests and I'll try to pass the configuration for the request size limiting plugin and in here for the basic configuration this will block the requests which have the size greater than 128 megabytes. So I'll try to reduce this value just to be able to show you guys. So I'll pass one as the value for the size and for the unit, I'll say kilobytes. So I'll save my file, I'll exit, I'll say docker compose up. If I move to the postman, I'll make a request just to be sure that the request termination plugin is disabled. So for the body, I'll try to pass some value just to make the size greater than one kilobytes. So if I make a request, it is most probably not greater than one kilobytes. So I'll try to paste more. And again, I'll hit send and this time I see that the request size limit exceeded is coming back from the Kong gateway and the status for the request is 413 which stands for request entity too large. So if I go to the official documentation, the available parameters for this plugin, we saw these configurations and the last configuration which is the require content links so as it is saying we should set to true to ensure a valid content links header exists before reading the request body so that's all for this video i hope you learned something new in this video just don't forget to ask in the comments section if you have any questions also don't forget to watch the previous videos i hope you're enjoying my video series about kong api gateway and don't forget to like and subscribe and i hope to see you in the next videos